Doesn't anybody have a real objection? Do not ask me to enter the mind of the totalitarians running this government of the city. This means something much more than the specifics of this dreadful program. It means envision what happens when you get a government that is run by an autocratic mayor or other leader and a government before which you are helpless. <laughs> bikes, lady. <laughs> Slow down, lady Hunger Games. <laughs> or should I say, Pulitzer Prize winning editorial board member of the Wall Street Journal. <laughs> Good afternoon and welcome to Opinion Journal. I'm Mary Kissel. Well, little did we know that when we aired our critique of the city bike bike sharing scheme here in New York City, that it would ignite such a national furor. So we've got editorial board member Dorothy Rabinowitz back on the set today to respond to these, oh, well, I don't know, hysteria, Dorothy. But, you know, I got to admit, John Stewart might have a point. I mean, it's just a bike. How do you respond? I say John Stewart has many points. He said they imported the most boring ideas from Europe, and I really agree. But Mary, I don't know why you didn't expect it. <laughs> if you understood from the vitriol that flowed uh, in all of the, all of the, 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 the blog world, uh, you would know if, I, if you walked through the streets of the city and you occasionally asked a bike rider who was careening down the sidewalk in all of his splendid, you know, self-affirming, environmental helpest mood to please not ride on the sidewalk. Uh, the answer is invariably an upraised third finger <laughs> when not verbalized. And I thought that the blogosphere response beautifully captured the general sense of we don't owe you anything. We are the virtuous of the world. But Dorothy, what about the response that they held more than 100 community meetings, and they've got polls showing that the majority of New Yorkers really love this program. Isn't that enough democracy for New York? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's the kind of thing that we hear uh, frequently, and it sounds wonderful. It's, quite, it's really quite laughable. Uh, community meetings, whom are they asking? Who is talking? The person you really have to talk to is the policeman. The policeman in every community who, when you walk over to him and say, uh, the bicyclists, he says, don't get me started on the bicyclists. They know the torrent of, of complaints and helpless screams, and they said, our hands are tied. We can't do anything. And so the real truth is you can get many community leaders, you can get an obedient city council, all of whom are terrorized by this thing that really exists, the bike lobby. And oh. they, they, have you seen anyone running for office in New York City who dares to say a word about the cyclists? Though at least one of them has said to me, I am outraged by this. But I don't see that person saying a thing. Well, you know, we, we got just a ton of mail um, on this segment. It's generated news uh, here at home and also abroad. I want to put up uh, one of the reader responses that landed in our inbox. We call this uh, best of the mail when we respond to you. And I quote, while I have no love for government expansion myself, I believe the city bikes program will cause the city to be on balance, happier and healthier as its citizens leave crowded subways and take to the streets. That's from Sam O'Brien. So that's the health argument, Dorothy. We need to be healthier. That's right. I doubt it. <laughs> that's it? That's the end? Okay. That's the answer. Sam, that's all you get. We're going to put up uh, the second question here on the screen, and I quote, um, why would a cyclist who knows that he is most safe, still not very safe, but it's about the best thing he gets in the bike lane, leave his lane? Could it maybe be because his bike lane is obstructed? Uh, that's from Tim DeRock. Uh, so, Dorothy, it, it's not the bicyclist's fault that they're on the sidewalks. It's the fact that there are trucks in the bike lane. No. It's, he's asking... Tell me why someone should be leaving the bike lane. My answer to that is this is a question that can only be asked by the therapist we hope this biker is consulting for a question like that. We don't know. One of the reasons could be that there are bicyclists coming down the wrong side of the street and about to careen into them because this, you see this every day, bicyclists riding at opposite ends of the bike lane. I have to say that none of the stuff I said was carried on, Mr. on the segment on John Stewart. And all of it was about standing on the sidewalk and watching and seeing that as one blogger, a perceptive one, wrote, 
I've never seen a biker stop at a stoplight. Well, there was another thing that John Stewart gave us. He said that Rabinowitzes all across the city are speaking out, so at least he admits that. Absolutely. Editorial board member Dorothy Rabinowitz, thank you so much.